let's say you're given a pandas data frame with a text column containing strings that have a specific delimiter for example a comma so we have this particular data frame here to show you as a demonstration so we have an address column that contains text information about the address of a specific location each row is a different address and you can see that the values in the address column are string values that contain commas if we look closely at the values here you can see that there is a pattern to the values for example we have the street then the city and then the state now let's say you want to split this single column into multiple columns based on the occurrence of the delimiter for example you want a separate column for the street you want a separate column for the city and you want a separate column for the state so how will you do that to perform this operation you can use the python inbuilt string split function which basically splits a string into a list of string based on the specific delimiter we can apply string functions to pandas objects such as pandas data frames or pandas columns using the dot str assessor so for example let's apply the string function to the address column here we'll use the dot str accessor and then apply the string function to split the values in the address column based on the delimiter comma let's see what we get you can see that for each string value we get a list of string resulting from splitting the string by the comma delimiter now if you do not want the result as a list rather you want the result of the split into separate columns you can use an additional parameter to the split function called expand equals to 2 for example here if we apply the stream string function using the str accessor and split the values in the address column which is still this text value because we didn't modify the address column here and then pass the additional expand equals to true parameter we'll get additional columns for example you can see that performing the split operation with expand equals to true resulted in three different columns now you can also specify the number of splits you want to make for example in the above operation we made two splits based on the occurrences of the commas in the address column now if you only want to perform the split just a limited number of times for example let's say you only want to split the string just once you can use the end parameter in that case and this will limit the number of splits that you want to make so let's see what we get with the n parameter equal to 1 we get only one split you can see that it split the text column on the first occurrence of the delimiter only and not on the following occurrences of the delimiter this is because we specifically mentioned to only split the string just once which is why we get only two columns that is two columns resulting from one split a quick recap of what has been mentioned in this tutorial let's say you have a string column and you want to split into it into multiple columns you can do so by applying the string split function and using the expand equals to true parameter this will give you a new data frame resulting from splitting the text based on the given delimiter into multiple columns you can also specify the number of splits that you want to make using the n parameter now let's say you want to add the columns resulting from the split to the original data frame so you can add them using this particular syntax we're splitting the address into street city and state values so we'll add these three new columns which will be the values resulting from performing the split operation on the address column so we are splitting the address column on the comma delimiter and passing expand equals to true and if we try to print the data frame now you can see 
that the data frame has three additional columns for street, city, and state, which resulted from splitting the address column into separate columns based on the occurrence of the comma delimiter.